Hello and welcome everyone to the lab view exercises. Today we will do another exercise in lab view to see uh, how many times an LED just blink or how many times the LED just turned on or off. This exercise may be very useful when we are playing with hardware or playing with the relay. So the working of this program is if I just turn on this LED, this will count how many times the LED is just turned on. So every time I just turn on the LED, as the LED turns on a lid and becomes green, this uh, number is just changed and increased. So how to make this program? To make this program, we will just open up a new VI and here are the two methods that I will show you. The first one is very simple one in which I will just place a boolean LED on my front panel. Let's just increase its size and now we need a uh, numeric indicator to just show how many times uh, the uh, LED just turned on. We can increase its size to make it properly visible. So I will just uh, justify it into the center. And now I will just turn uh, go back to its block diagram. Here I will do its well, I will create its program. So now I will create its control to stop the loop and uh, the next thing I will do is to use this event structure. So the event structure will be based on edits events handled by this case and it will be based on the boolean that we are using. Right now the boolean is just a control since we are not using anything else so I will just change it to control. So what I will do is I can just pl um, place it inside of this event structure and uh, now I will use the uh, case selector. So if this if the uh, LED is turned on, then there will be an increment which I will just make it to outside the loop, uh, outside the wall of the loop, and make it replace it with a shift register and connect it with this one. And now we can connect it with the truth function. Otherwise, it will just go same as the previous value. So it should start from zero always when it runs the program. And uh, finally, it will be connected with the numeric loop. So I will create a local variable to define a zero or say false function in the beginning create again a local variable so here the numeric will be zero once the program starts so now if i just go back onto my front panel and run my program as you can see every time i just turn on my led the numeric is just increased by one but there is a problem since we are using an event structure so it becomes uh, very restricted because the event structure based on boolean will stop everything else because un unless it is the boolean is pressed then nothing will be uh, anything else will not uh, work properly so the other way to do is i will just delete this wire and delete this wire and now i will remove everything else and now again i will start from the while loop so in this while loop i will create again a control and a little bit of delay for the while loop like let's just say 500 milliseconds and now this time what i will do is I will use the case selector but here we will make another condition which will say that the uh, y, uh, the boolean should have changed the value if the boolean value is changed and the second condition is if it is equals to zero or sorry if it is equals to true not zero if it equals to true, 
so we have to match um, both these conditions so i will choose and function so it is connected in here as well as with the equals to function and now it will be connected to the k selector so now if i will just use the replace the shift register function it will be connected with my uh, false case and uh, so it means that whenever it is not true it will be going to false case otherwise there will be an increment so here is an increment function i will connect the numeric line with numeric wire with the increment and then with the true function so again it should be started from zero and now i will just connect it with my numeric power numeric indicator so again what i will do is i have to use a local variable i can use and create a constant of zero and similarly create a local variable so that everything should be started from zero or false conditions properly and now if i run my program it is just zero right now now if i just press on my led it is showing that every time i just press on my led the number is increased by one so that's how we can manipulate or uh, count led turn on or off uh, using lapier